We're seeing you guys in I Love Us. It's a gritty crime romance at the same time. Danny, did you start out with an idea to write a crime drama or just the crime part? <laughs> well, you know, it's really my, you know, one of my favorite movies is, uh, is uh, The Family Man. And it's about a guy who's not a criminal, but uh, is living his own single life, you know, dating a supermodel and thinks he's got life, you know, figured out. Um, and then he gets caught up in this world with kids. And I thought it would be a great idea and try to figure out how to do it in a unique and different way. And then that's where the idea came from. I, I thought about it a little bit. Uh, I decided I wanted to do it, you know, COVID hit and um, we had nothing to do. So I called my writer and said, hey, you want to take a crack at this and see if we can figure this out? And uh, we just worked for like four or five months on it. And that's what we came up with. Sammy is very determined, you know, on this career criminal path. And then he meets Katie's character. What is it about her that, you know, changes his whole trajectory? Well, first, she's beautiful. And he's like blown away. Um, you know, in the movie he says it only takes a minute, you know, sometimes you just meet people and you automatically connect. Uh, and I think they just had a connection. Um, and I think maybe Sammy wanted, you know, to change his life. I think Sammy was looking for something and, and when she came around, he found it and uh, fell in love with her, fell in love with the kids, fell in love with that life. And uh, that's really, you know, what what in my mind what happened to him as a character how involved danny were you with the casting of this oh i i was involved in everything you know i uh i my production company to be uh produced the movie um i directed it you know and i act in it so uh the way i do things is I love, you know, working with, with people that I enjoy spending time with, people that I know, especially on a movie like this. I knew that I needed great actors that I don't really need to spend time and, and, and explain how the process is. That brings us to Greg. Greg starred in my last movie, uh, Blackjack, and he's such a great actor and a great guy, and we became friends. And I, I was like, I need you on this set, you know, to, you know because, you know, with COVID, having you know not that much time to actually shoot it we shot it i think in 16 days um and uh just getting the right people around me was so important uh him and james Mario and uh robert davia guys that i've been working with for a long time now so yeah i was very involved uh katie cassidy's agent is my agent so he was like what do you what about katie uh harlow jane um, is is uh, my friend David Arquette's niece. He, you know, he recommended her, and I was like, "Wow, that's great!" And just yeah, once we got going, I was I was yeah very involved. Greg, this is uh, another crime drama for you. Yeah. <laughs> was Down East first, or was this first? Um, no, we shot this. We shot Down East first, and this was uh, yeah, this was soon after. And, uh, you know, Danny, like, like Danny said, we became buds and, and, uh, he said, Hey, I got a movie shoot in LA. Would you want to be a part of it? And, uh, I didn't even hesitate. And I read the role and the more I read the script, the more actually I, I really dug the role and, and it was something I had never done. So, uh, it was, uh, it was a pleasure. It was a no brainer. Was there something you found particularly challenging then about this, as opposed to the other characters you've played? Yeah, I, I played, uh, you know, Rob, my character, he, he um, struggles with substance abuse. And I had, a, I had a guest star on a show one time where I had to play something similar. But this, this had more of an arc, you know, because it's a, a movie. And, and I love that about him. I just love the fact that he was able to at least try and turn it around for his nieces. But it was a little difficult with the, you know, you know, I don't have any substance abuses, the little ticks he did. And, and that's something, you know, Danny helped me out with. And, and it was it was fun to try new things. I felt like I had a lot of freedom and uh, to kind of create this this guy. 
Greg, how is Danny pulling double duty as director and co-star? He was great. I mean, I, I honestly don't know how he does it. And I think I said that to him like 500 times during the shoot. And then on top of that COVID, I mean, you have to really be there to understand how difficult it was to make a movie during COVID. I mean, the rules and, and they're understandable, but it's just for a producer, a star and a director to do that. I don't know how he did it, but he did it and he did a great job. So hats off to him because I don't think I'd ever want or could do that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it was it was it was crazy. He was stressed, but he handled it great, you know, and, and he made a great movie. Danny, how was it for you then doing producer, actor, director all at the same time? Is it old hat to you at this point, though? Yeah, I mean, you know, having great producers work with me, um, Kyle Stefanski and John Brewer and Mike Hermosa made it much easier. They they kind of like we're like, look, we'll let you just, we'll, we'll do everything we can to just let you uh, concentrate on, on the creative. And they really gave me the freedom. They took care of everything that needed to be taken care of. Um, and I just went in, as an actor director, it's really difficult because, uh, you know, you have the mask on while you're directing and then you go and do the scene, you take the mask off. We had a floater, which is like a portable device, like a camp, like a screen. And they brought it to me on set. And sometimes I didn't have to actually get up and actually go to the monitor and see it. But but like I, you know, I always tell everyone, I go with my gut, you know, if me, if me and Greg are doing a scene and and I watch it once or twice, I can already tell what we need to change, how we're gonna do it. And once I see the performance and we have that then it really is in pre-production, we set up all the shot list and we know exactly how we're gonna shoot it. Every once in a while, you kind of change it around, depends on the weather, depends on you know what's going on with the lighting. Yeah. But, but I really kind of went in, I did, I did my homework and I, and I worked really hard to, uh, to be prepared you know, to, to have the shots set up already. So my DP understood, we're gonna do a two shot here, we're gonna do a close up, we're gonna do you know, whatever it is that I end up picking. Um, so it's really about just working with the actor and, and I can't give myself criticism out loud, but I see what I need to change and what I need to bring in. Uh, I've done it a few times now. So I, I, I just kind of like go with the flow and then I say, you know what, I'm going to give one a little different. So in the editing room, I have something to work with. Was there a particular shot or a scene that really stands out to you and holds a place in your heart for this film? Uh, yeah, it's funny you say that. Um, yeah, you know, in, in the movie, the, a tragedy happens and uh, Sammy uh, kind of breaks down. And, you know, to get to that point, I've never done it in a movie before where I have to really cry. and, and uh, But... Uh, I had to go into personal stuff to get there. It was pretty difficult. And, uh, but I waited for the last shot of the day. I was really tired and it was late. And I said to the DP, I said, listen, you're going to get one shot at this. Don't mess it up. Just keep the camera on me. Let me do my thing. If I move, just move with me. I'm not going to move too much. It took me a minute, but I, I think I got there. So you got it. Thank you. Greg, what about you? Was there a particular shot that truly stands out to you? Um, you know, I love the stuff with the girls, with Harlow and Jasper, just because, you know, I got to be kind of just the cool, fun uncle, and those scenes were, were pretty pretty easy. But, you know, as an actor, and, and it's always that, that, you know, a little more emotional stuff that kind of that kind of gets you going. And, and uh, I had a scene with Danny, a little, a little quick little scene where we sit down and have a drink and... Uh, you know, I'm trying to to sober up and be there for my nieces. And, you know, I talk about the tragedy. And I think that was my favorite scene to shoot. It was more of a difficult scene. But, you know, the difficult things usually are the most rewarding. You're also a writer and a producer. Does working with Danny here inspire you to take a trip behind the camera as well? <laughs> I don't think, you know, part of me wants to direct but part of me realizes how hard it is. And, uh, but I'm very fortunate for Danny. Like he's um, built up my confidence and, and built up 
you know, just the belief that I have in myself now to, to, to go out and do my own projects. And, and, uh, you know, he said something to me, I'll never forget. I won't say it on camera, but he said, there's just no reason why you can't, you can't do it yourself. And, um, I really have learned a lot from him, honestly, over the past few years, just knowing him and, uh, and, uh, yeah, I want to, I want to develop, I'm actually developing my own project as we speak again. So I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. And I owe, I owe a lot to Danny for that. Oh, great. I mean it. Yeah. I mean it. You're so cute. <laughs> Danny, what do you hope, <laughs> what do you hope people take away from watching this film? You know, I think this movie has something for everyone. It's, it's got the love story, it's got the family aspect, it's got action. Um, I, I, you know, I've, I've made a few movies up to date and, and I love them all. They're like my children, you know, like, but I, I love this movie. I feel, I feel like seeing, seeing a guy, you know, a lot of people always talk about, is he gonna stand up and, and, and you know, step up and, 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 be, and be a good guy and do what he needs to do. Um, and I feel like Sammy, people are really going to relate to Sammy. Or are they gonna, they're going to look up to him. He, he takes on the task he didn't have to take. It's something that I hope no one ever has to go through in life. Uh, but when, when, when he was dealt this card, he kind of like, you know, stepped up and, and really uh, showed what a great guy he is. So, you know, it's, it's like a criminal with a heart, a guy that, that, uh, that understands what life really is all about, even though a little bit later in his years. Um, so I think people are just gonna enjoy that. It, it, it's a very heartfelt movie. Um, and, and, and sometimes we need a good, you know, good feel movie, a feel good movie. <laughs>